the draw default inspector function allows us to easily recreate the default inspector for a script inside a custom inspector. This is very useful if we only want to add new items to the inspector for a script instead of changing the currently existing items. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have a script called some script. This script contains an integer named level, a float named health, and a vector named target. We also have an editor script called some script editor. This script creates a custom inspector for the some script component. We can see that the oninspector GUI method has been created, but there's nothing inside. For more information on creating custom inspectors, see the lesson on custom inspectors linked below. In Unity, we have a scene with an empty game object in it. This object has our some script attached to it. We should notice that even though some script has three public variables, nothing is appearing in the inspector view for it. This is due to the custom inspector existing, but having no graphical user interface code. Back in our some script editor, we could write out all of the code required to display public variables in the inspector, but that is cumbersome and requires a lot of work. This is especially true if we do not want to customize how they appear. Instead, we can replace all of that code with the draw default inspector function. This function will create all of the default inspector fields while still allowing us to add any custom elements we would like. If we go back into Unity, we can now see that our some script fields appear correctly in the inspector with barely any extra work. Our script is now primed to add any new functionality we may desire. Let's demonstrate that by adding a help box to our inspector. Back in our some script editor, we can add a help box in the oninspector GUI method. We do that by typing the editor GUI layout class name, followed by a period, and the method name help box. We will pass two parameters into the help box method. The first is the text that we want to appear in the help box. The second is the type of help box we want. This is an enumeration that allows us to choose error, info, none, or warning. Back in Unity, we can now see that the help box appears in our inspector, along with all of our other script fields.